Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to our first look of Tinykin today. This is a platformer where we play as an archaeologist from outer space in the future. So we're like an alien, and we're traveling to Earth in search of human life, but when we land, everything just goes horribly wrong because for some reason, we find ourselves shrunken down to the size of a penny. And the date is also back in the 90s. So we're stuck here, and we gotta figure out what's going on and find a way to go home. This game takes inspiration from classics like Pikmin and Paper Mario, both of which I haven't played before, but from what I can gather, this means that the gameplay is something along the lines of having to amass a bunch of little people and have them do our bidding to solve problems, which, just between you and me, sounds a little bit suspiciously like slave labor. <laughs> But uh, thank you to TinyBuild for sponsoring this video. They shared this game with me and I looked up a few trailers. It's not really apparent in this main menu, but this game also has a pretty interesting sort of combination 3D, 2D art style. So I thought, hey, this would be perfect for a first look. The full release of the game is going to be in the summer. And what we're checking out today is the demo version, which you can also download and try for yourself on Steam until the end of this week. So definitely check out the link in the description if you're interested in that. And without further ado, let's go. Vital signs? Okay. Equipment? Damaged. Origin? Unknown. Age? Undetermined. Antenna? Absent. Mandibles? Atrophied. Mandibles? Okay, we are indeed super freaking small. Hey you, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you might never wake up. You seem to be... okay? Sorry, I've never met any one of your species. Do you need orientation? I've set up something to help you find your way around and get used to your equipment. Do feel free to have a look, okay? All right, I'll leave you some time to get your bearings. I'll see you a bit further ahead. I thought I was supposed to be the alien here. <laughs> what is that guy? Wait, what? I am the alien, right? I'm like an alien human coming to Earth. But then that guy... That guy wasn't even human. No. But yeah, look at this art style here. Look at the carpet. The environments are 3D, but all the characters are 2D and always facing the camera. So I think that's where the Paper Mario comparison comes in. It seems a little bit weird at first, but I feel like it does work. Yeah, like it feels like um, a Saturday morning cartoon. I can jump with A. Yes. Somebody left a whole bunch of record discs on the ground. Press and hold A again after a jump to deploy your bubble glider. Ooh. No, this is not a record disc. What is this thing? Oh, this is a hat, but I don't know what those are. Those are some kind of tape? Ah, because this is not... this is not current day. Look, there's a CD case over there as well. Oh! Floppy disks. That's how you know it's not modern. <laughs> Wait, the tiny kin are following you? How? They normally wander around the house and ignore everyone, but they seem to like you. Tiny kin have fascinating capabilities. I may have finally found someone who can use them. For example, pink tiny kin are the strongest. They can push or carry objects. Together, they can carry even the heaviest of objects. Great! Follow me! Wait! Mister! <laughs> you see that flower pot? If you throw your pink tinykin at it, they can probably move it and unblock the passage. My research has shown me that an object of great importance was locked under the great staircase, but there's no way in. Uh... Things are happening. Mister, do you... Do you do you want to give me a bit more context for what's happening here? Are, are we both trapped here or... Oh, you and I seem to be different. Transitor crossing. First tiny step. Help rid me clear the access under the stairs by moving the flower pot. Okay, okay, I got you. 
Wait, there's more to collect. There's more. Let's get all of them first. What are they though? Are these eggs? Are we are we birthing them by collecting them? Oh my god. And they're all pink, like me. They all follow me. Well, I guess I guess that means they like me, right? That can't be a bad thing. Check out that skateboard. Hold on, hold on. Just, just give me a sec here. Can I climb on this? Yes! So we need- we probably need to collect a certain amount to do whatever we want to do, right? We can't do it with one or two. It's, uh, collectively, we're harnessing the power of the masses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Incredible? Tardy grades? We're clearly in somebody's house right now, but I'm also a little bit concerned by how messy it is. <laughs> Holding LT lets you hold a tiny kin. Then you have to aim and use RT to throw it wherever you want. Oh, we need 30. Okay, it says right there we need the number we need. So we don't have enough right now, actually. We need three more. Did we miss a few walking around here? Oh, oh, there's a few more up there. Hold on. Okay. Give me a sec. You see that flower? You see that flower pot? If you throw your pink tunnigan at it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Just uh, give me one more second. There's a few more up top. Which hopefully gets me a neat little bit of 30. But those guys, can they climb? <gasps> they can. They can indeed. Oh! This bubble glider. It's kind of like an astronaut suit, huh? I'm carrying a lot of equipment on me. Something that looks kind of like a camera. Hello! Alright, alright, let's try this. Oh, look, they're surrounding it. Power of many. Yay! The way is clear. Go get the component I told you about. Ooh. Ooh, all these like dust balls. People haven't been back here for a long, long time. Can I wear it? <laughs> or do I have to like throw my people at it? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. Heave ho. One, two. Yes. Where are you guys going, actually? Are you putting it next to the lamp? Yardwin, the first component! If only you knew how many years I have waited for this! Oh, by the way, I'm Ridmi. We'll make a great team. Milladane, right? Come on in, I'll explain everything. My name is Milladane. Are you the only one here, Ridmi? I imagine not. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode, Milladane. You see that schematic on the wall? Once upon a time, a being known as Arduin lived in this house. Wise and good, many consider him as a deity. 
I think he was more of a sage. I believe the schematic was drawn up by Arwen himself in order to assemble a machine that could go beyond the house. Oh. I spent my whole life trying to find the components, and thanks to you, we've managed to collect one already! I managed to locate the five others. However, getting them won't be that easy. Your transportation device is damaged, and you need to go home, don't you? In that case, you have no other choice than to help me. <laughs> oh, and I have some friends to introduce you to. Prattle, the Ardwin Museum curator. A real, never-ending pit of knowledge. And Sikaru, the nectar brewer, who travels mountains and valleys. You should go and talk to them at some point. The house is big and you'll get tired walking around. I wasn't able to save your soap board, but I found a replacement. Take it. Soap board. I like a skateboard, but a soap board. Well, thank you. You can use it to slide wherever you want and get around a lot faster. It takes a little practice, but I'm sure you'll love it. Hold X or RB or LB to slide around with your soap board. Try it out. See how it works. I'll see you up top. Oh, I almost forgot. You see this adorable little furball? One of my assistants. They're not very talkative, but very diligent. Use your soap board to slide along their silk strings and join me. Ah, okay, okay. So these people have already been here for a long time. They've been trying to get up, but they can't. And now I'm I'm like an alien arriving here. And somehow, mysteriously, I can control the tiny kin. Or they listen to me. Yeah, it's not a it's not control. We're it's a cooperation. Okay, soap board. Oh okay, that makes going around a lot faster, especially seeing how small we are. That's gonna be really useful. What are we trying to build here? I don't know, I can't guess at all. It looks like some sort of a scuba diving helmet. Alright. That looks interesting. My tiny kin are gone. They're localized to each level, I guess. Okay. Well. Maybe let's talk to some of the people around here. Sikaru. Ah, so you're Milo. Ah, so you're Milo. Welcome to the most distinguished brewery in the whole house. It's also the only brewery in the whole house. Since everyone started gorging themselves on that nasty cheap doom is, the art of distilling nectar has been lost, and people are content with whatever junk they can get their hands on. Your eyes glimmer with interest. You wish to help? In each room, I'll be there to collect the pollen you find and use it to make the most resplendent vintages. My counter is still quite empty. I'll be waiting for you in every room, ready to collect all the precious pollen you can find. They haven't been able to leave, so they started doing their own little operations. They're like, oh well, I'm just gonna, just gonna start making some nectar now. <laughs> Which is, you know, fair enough. We're not just gonna sit around here doing nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Whoa! Ah, I see you're fully operational. Come with me. I know where we should start looking. The second component we need to find is a banner, located in the city of Sanctar. This way, Melodane! Take the access as soon as you're ready. Okay, I'm just gonna say how to prattle first. Woo! Thief! Vermin! The collection! Bring it back! What did you do with the artifacts, villain? Oh, wait. It wasn't you, was it? No, indeed, you're too small. <laughs> Pot calling the kettle black. Hmm, welcome to the Ardwin Museum. I'm the curator, Mr. Prattle. Unfortunately, our establishment has suffered an odious and villainous attack. Most of our collection has vanished. 
The Dynast guards are looking into it, but you know how it is. I need all the help I can get. Bring me back the artifacts in good condition, and I'll offer to you the greatest of rewards. My knowledge. They... They've even started building a museum here. That's how bored they got. <laughs> you, got you gotta preoccupy yourself. Yeah, that's totally understandable. What's up here? Ooh. Does anybody live in this house? I assume somebody's got to. Okay. Oh my god, is that a freaking dinner table? The pins are the seats. <laughs> That's cute. This is somebody's bedroom. Oh my god, whose bedroom is it? Well, sorry for intruding. I, I didn't mean to. I just came across it, that's all. There's also one below us, so I guess that must be like another bedroom? Oh, that's so cozy and homey. I love it. All right, all right, let's get going. I suspect we're gonna have a lot of collecting to do around here. Let's go. Well, the tiny kin are back. Here's the entrance to Sanctar, a place of sacred pilgrimage dedicated to the great Arduin. Also known as the bedroom door. <laughs> the banner belongs to a pious shield bug named Solaria. This object is very important to her, and she won't give it up easily. I have a spare key for Sanctar, obtained through totally legitimate means. Here! Oh, they're sleeping! I'm counting on you, and I can't wait to see all the things you'll do with the Tinykin. Yeah, make me do all the work. For some reason, the Tinykin listened to me, and not you guys. I've got to get out of here, too. We're all in the same boat here. Just one! You're a very strong Tinykin, aren't you? Tiny Kim won't follow you from one room to another. They're not very brave, but they'll be waiting for you if you come back. Okay, don't worry, I'll be back. Maybe I'll bring back some new friends too. Fantastic! Onwards to Sanctar! Do this guy seems friendly enough? But he looks a little bit scary. Like, he looks like he's gonna beat me up. <laughs> the city of Sanctar. Ah, to be back in Sanctar. Congratulations, companions. The expedition has borne fruit. What a haul. So many unknown objects and this strange relic. <sighs> Why, Ardwin? I feel that it is what we need to complete our quest. Hard to say, but... I appreciate your enthusiasm. It is indeed about time we solve the mystery of the canticle echoing through our minds. Generations upon generations of shield bugs and Arwen himself are counting on us. The tardy grades. Well, this place is massive. Welcome to Sanctar, a land consecrated by the melody of Arduin's canticle. Only the shield bugs can hear his voice. Strange, isn't it? This mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Speaking of mysteries, our missionaries have just discovered something. A large round relic! Go take a look! If you miss it, you must be blind! <laughs> Convincing Solaria to give up the banner will not be an easy task. It seems that the Sangtine shield bugs want to broadcast Ardwin's canticle to make it accessible to everyone, but how? Something tells me this large circle is the key. Also, I wonder why the little shield bug nearby is so excited. They look sad to me. <laughs> okay. 
the unsung canticle. Repair the CD player so all can hear Ardwin's canticle. Oh, okay, we have a CD. We've got a CD player here, somewhere here. Ardwin, huh? Who is Ardwin? Red Tinykin love to blow things up. They explode on contact with fragile objects. There's a nectar. Let's see, hold on. Oh, and then now we can get up here, I see. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody needs my help. I gotta go talk to them first. Are you okay, little bug? What's wrong? Why don't adults ever listen to me? This relic must be carried to the cupboard up there. Tardigrades, World Tour, 1995. <laughs> the relic and the poster have the same picture. I'd do it myself, but I'm too small. You can use a pink tiny can, right? Throw a few of them on the relic. They'll take care of it. Maybe Tardy Grades is some kind of band around here. That's what it seems like. Okay. I'll uh, collect a few of these guys and I'll be right back with you, alright? Just give me one second here. There is so much. Look at this place. It's a living room. It's not the bedroom. There's even a piano here. More nuggets. Thank you. Whoa, did you see the denominator? It was 740. That's a lot. That's a lot. Why have you been staring at that thing all this time? Do you have a problem with staircases? What are you talking about? It's beautiful. Those colors, the nuances, the depth. Depth? All I see is blues and yellows. Are you sure you're okay? Uh oh, are they colorblind? You poor doom is in your eyes again, didn't you? Newtonia. <laughs> it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. It's perfect. Or almost. There's a little something missing. A seventh color. Khaki green, maybe? Daltonia. That's the name of another shit of yellow, I imagine. Sure, why not? Have fun, sweetie. <laughs> tapes! Cassette tapes. Oh! Beautiful xylophone. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, I don't have enough explosive things. Well, let's see. Oh, there's some tiny kin here, but I can't rescue them. Hmm, so maybe we gotta be a bit more careful about how we use them then, because we want to make sure we have enough for the most important things. There's some here. Whoa. Oh my god. This, this is like some kind of a shrine? Oh! Don't dirty the walls! Don't dirty the walls of the temple, you scoundrel! Oh, but my lord, that's not my intention! Quite the contrary, I'm a dung beetle, you understand? We spent our time dealing with the filth of other creatures, less enthusiastic about the idea. Too many words, too complicated. You're dirty, go away. That's mean, that's mean. They're basically the janitor around here, don't be mean. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of nuggets. What a temple. Missing some spires, buttresses, spikes, but it's pretty nice. We're in a temple. Yeah, these guys seem a little bit religious, huh? They... Ardwin is their god. Ardwin. Luther, we spent a long time building this temple, but would Ardwin have appreciated it? I hope so. Oh, wow. Wow, that's singing. I want some of the explodey guys, if that's okay. Are there any around here? Yes. A few more. There have 
got to be more. Yeah, I opened this place earlier. Let's see. Got a lot of the pink ones. That looks like a CD player right in the cupboard. The little bug was right. We should be bringing the CD over there. No, I think... Um, I'm just trying to think of where we can get the explosive ones, because I... I think we need those ones to progress right now. Oh, there's a few down there. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Whoa, the size of that thing! A most successful campaign! So it's round, it's beautiful, but what does this relic even do? We should try throwing it. And listen, listen to the little bug, guys. Yeah. Good, good. Prodigious! Look what we brought back from the expedition! A sacred relic! Engraved upon it, the mark of Arduin, praise be to him. No doubt about it, it's a tardigrade, a legendary creature associated with him. I hope the others don't resent me for charging in to get this. So you got it. You're the one who got it. Do you need me to open this? These old doors are totally stuck. It's the third time this week. I've asked the Dynasts for help, but they won't get here for a little while. If you can knock them open, please go ahead. In any case, they will have to be completely replaced. I can do that. There you go. That was brutal. I appreciate the help, but try not to blow up the temple, yeah? You're the one who asked me to do it. You said it was okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna collect a few more of these explodey guys first. The key to doing everything is to have more friends. Although, the red ones explode and they just disappear, so are we like... <gasps> are we like killing them? Oh no. Hey, you skinny guy! We're looking for a young aunt called Melody. She disappeared near the piano. Her mother is still there. Do you know anything? I don't, but I'll, I'll keep it in mind. I really hope this was our last crusade! Everybody wants to maybe reach Arduin or get out of here and... They've been having a lot of trouble with that. Be careful around water! The technology in your suit probably won't react well to it. Ah! Ah! Oh! Okay, I got it. Water, my one weakness. <laughs> Let's see. I'm back in the temple here. What's going on? They stopped moving! Are you stuck? We probably have to lower the bridge. Okay, well, how do we get up to begin with? Let's see. Well, it's not this way. <laughs> More nectar everywhere. Oh, this is gonna be so easy to miss stuff then, because there's so much of it... ...everywhere. Okay, this seems like... Maybe if we go from this side? Our uncle says that when there's a problem... We have to come and pray to the great Arduin. But he never answers. Maybe he's just shy? Did... Has anybody ever seen Arduin around here? I don't even know. Oh! Dragonflies live a long time and do not lack memory, you know. I am aware that you're not from around here. From up there, I watched you. And I felt your distrust. You don't understand our fervor, our faith. Arduin. You have never borne witness to the miracles he accomplishes. We all live, thanks to his grace. In silence, in shadow, Arwen repairs the holes in our walls, Arwen replenishes our supplies, and Arwen makes sure we survive. 
No, I don't- I don't distrust you. It's just that I don't really... I don't really know about your stuff, that's all. Glory to Norden and the priestess! Ardwin! His name is Ardwin, you great Lamox! Glory to Baldwin and the priestess! Glory to Baldwin and the priestess! <laughs> so there's a lot of different tribes here. These are like the, the brutes. They always yell in caps. We have dragonflies, we have shield bugs, ants, and everyone seems to just be living in harmony, which is which is good. I don't know what race Ridmi is though. He looked a little bit completely different from everybody here, really, but um I'm different as well. I'm the only actual human here. Oh, I can't really use a soap board on slanted ground. Can I? Can I even get up there? A little bit hard. So we can just climb over? Yeah, there's a CD player. That's missing a button. There's a button missing here! But I've searched all Sanctar with no luck. One of the only places I couldn't check was the top of the structure where you can find the restaurant Felix over there. It's right there, it's right in the middle. <laughs> Could you go there for me? I have to keep an eye on this Tesla pest. Should that dang cryptic machine start up while I'm away, she would claim all the glory to herself. Tesla and Eddie said? Oh, 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 oh. This is... Someone cut the... the wire. It's not just about the CD, there's multiple things going on here. Tesla. You see that cable over there? It looks like it's been cut. You need something to replace it. Without that, we wouldn't be able to power up this cryptic machine. I sent my assistant to get a conductor near the giant armchair, but she hasn't come back. Could you go see what she's doing? I'm stuck here, keeping an eye on that cunning Edison. <laughs> We've got some competitive bugs here, Tesla and Edison. This time, maybe not really creating anything new, but just trying to, just trying to fix the CD player. There's a cavity in the machine. It's missing some sort of big round piece. I've been trying to decipher the symbols on the cryptic machine for a while, but there's no point finishing if we don't have the missing piece. Okay, so we have to, we have to somehow get this bridge coming down. Oh! Oh, that was a guy! Ah, I see, I see. Oh, but I can't get up there! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! But that ain't the only thing we're missing. But it's a start! It's a start. Okay, let's see if we can't finish this before we end off here. Hmm. We have a string that goes... I think we gotta start from that way then, because we can't climb up there. So the, the play button was over there. And then what was that about the armchair? Oh, yeah? This right here? Hey! I got your, I got your disc over there! Don't you worry, I'm working on it. Hey, I'm Tesla's assistant! She's the one who filled you in, right? I was supposed to get something to replace a cut cable for the machine she's trying to repair. There's a conductor that is exactly the right size, under this armchair. Tesla told me that there was a device that would allow me to access it, but I forgot what it is. I'm a little afraid I'll look like an idiot if I go back and ask her. It's underneath the chair? That seems a little bit difficult to uh, get. Oh. Okay. Any hints up here? We already know where the play button is, so if we can get this, then that would be fantastic. 
There's a device that'll allow us to move it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Man, they really built an entire kingdom out of the living room here. I can't imagine that whoever owns this house still lives here, if they even are still around. Ah, it's like a little shortcut. Okay, useful. Um... No. Should I go back and ask Tesla what the device is? Or am I gonna be able to figure it out on my own? Oh! Oh my god, I'm a genius. <laughs> That's a fancy chair. Lara. I have explored dark caves, forgotten caverns, and ancient tombs. But this relic? The crevice we found it in was so narrow and unstable, it could have collapsed at any moment. And then it did! But just before it did, I saw something strange. Like a big eyeball staring at us in the dark, barely lit by a violet gleam. Too bad we can never go back and examine that now. <laughs> Is your last name Croft? Hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got this. What do we got here? This? And then you gotta open this. Okay, sweet. So you're gonna go over there and I'll go get the play button here then. How does that sound? Everybody should be happy. May Ardwin's voice and light give us strength. Each day his voice becomes louder in my head. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? So we went up here earlier already, but I didn't finish looking up. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't have that many explodey things, so I want to keep it just in case. Because that's just going to be nuggets. These two? Whoa! That's sweet. Oh! Oh! No! No! <laughs> Ah, oh, everything is so much harder when you're tiny. But we're not supposed to be this tiny. Like, we, we didn't start this tiny. But somehow... We are like this now. Uh, I don't know if we'll find a solution for it. There it is! Just gotta go up here. Okay. Hang on, all right. Whoa, somebody's finished this Rubik's Cube. Fancy, fancy. Like this? I'll get all this, thank you very much. And then, if I'm right... Oh, it's right here. Yes, yes, and then now all we gotta do is... Woo! Perfecto! Oh yeah, this is like somebody's collection. Oh! <laughs> They've got bunker beds here! Welcome to the Great Cassette Hotel! The beds are matchboxes. The most renowned of all Sanctar, we offer a breathtaking view of the temple. Pilgrims from all over the house gather here. Unfortunately, I regret to inform you that the clump of hair upon your head does not fit with the standing of our establishment. Hey! Having you here is not worth it. That's rude. That's rude. Many of my assistants are still stuck inside their silk cocoons, but a little sheep could help them pop out. <laughs> I just threw a thing at them. That's okay, right? Okay. Oh! Yes, 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 you. I was like, wh where's the play button? <laughs> there you go. Everybody's happy. Oh. 
Now everybody can hear the song. <gasps> How is this possible? Hardwind's canticle! It resounds throughout Sanctar! Even the ants can hear it! Now the voice of the creator can be heard, studied by all! Did Arwen himself send you? As a reward for your efforts for the good of all Sanctar, Milodane, I grant you my most precious treasure. My banner, handed down since the ancient times. Carry it proudly, friend, as a servant of Arwen. Everybody, wake up! You're being very rude right now. Solaria's giving us her precious banner. You're all sleeping. Solaria's agreed to give you the banner. Ask the honeykin to grab it. Yay! Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Solaria. It's strange. It seems that we shield bugs still perceive the original canticle, as if the one you freed from the cryptic machine was but a reproduction. I think. I'm gonna get moving. The company has earned their break, but as for me, I'm going to continue investigating the original signal. Foliana, the territory of the mantis is nearby. A good place to start. Aw, oh, is she saying that there's someone playing live music somewhere? Because the CD is a reproduction, and the original signal around here in the house? Well done, Milodane. I am very impressed. Let's go inside this tunnel leading to Crystal. Crystal and add this component to the machine without further ado. They're so encouraging. Every time I do something, they're like, yay! <laughs> Hooray, yeah! No idea what's going on, but everyone seems super stoked. Bravo! I really hope this was our last crusade! Yay! Way to go, woohoo! Where's kiddo? Where's the kiddo? You're the best! Ah, shucks. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. You're all happy. Can I go home now? <laughs> yes. Congratulations, Milladane. We've added a new component to the great Ardwin's machine. Fantastic. The demo ends here. Thanks for playing. Congratulations on completing the main quest at the first level. Feel free to explore and beat the remaining side quests. All right. Yeah. So this is the, the beginning of Tinykin. Oh, wow. It's it's very cute. And I feel, I feel like there's spiritual healing happening on my soul right now. Like they're purifying my soul. We are trying to collect the whole bunch of components so that we eventually can... Hopefully get out of here, but just looking at the size of this thing, like, I can't even fit in that. I mean, I can, but not like... It's not a snug fit. Oh! Actually, maybe it's more like a spaceship, huh? It's, uh... It's happening. The banner... What was the point of the banner? <laughs> it just looks decorative! No, maybe I'm just being judgmental here. A little bit too early to judge. It'll probably turn out well later on. Yeah. So this is the first look of Tinykin. And I think you can get the basic gist of what the gameplay loop is like. We're gonna go around collecting a whole bunch of stuff. I am a little bit surprised by how many people and just how much stuff was going on in that level though. Like that was, that felt like an entire city. And that's just one level, right? So if every single level is like that, that's a lot of stuff happening. Doesn't seem like there's any humans here yet, but there's a lot of bugs that are the same size as me. And then Tinykin who are smaller than even me. So I don't know why we're all tiny or who Arduin is, or what we're all doing just chilling out in this house. But everyone seems pretty nice and welcoming, so I'm sure we'll have a great time here. Yeah, I specifically chose to focus on the main quest today. I know there's a whole bunch of other side quests and people that we could have talked to in that level, so if you are interested, then definitely feel free to go download the demo and play it yourself. Otherwise, feel free to let me know what you thought of this game in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye.